Hey guys, Magnus Robert here, bringing you another video, and today, this is very late, and I do apologise, but we're going to be reviewing the update, or at least, at least my initial thoughts, on Showbiz Showdown. Now, I know Act 2 has just dropped, apologies, <laughs> I'll get to Act 2 in a minute, um, you know, I'll look at Act 2 later, because right now, I just want to be reviewing Act 1, and basically my initial thoughts on the whole update, so, yeah, I am not a massive fan of this one. We're going to get into it. Love this splash screen, though. I think it's pretty cool. But uh, <laughs> we'll get into the rest of my uh, thoughts. But I thought I'd keep it positive to start off with. I like this splash screen. So we're going to be going through all the different aspects. We'll start with the structure and theme. Then we'll talk about the characters. And then we'll do a building and decoration showcase. And then wrap it up. Obviously, so far anyway, as recording this video, I've only got two of the characters, no, three of the characters, and I've got, of course, uh, a building, I think. Let's uh, let's get into it, though. So, structure. Obviously, the structure of this event is your basic multi-event, aka a mini-event, repeated four times. <sighs> uh, so, it doesn't do anything unique this particular event now this prize track is something else it's um it's a diabolical prize track to say the least so the first act i wasn't too impressed with movie light is such a crappy little decoration just to start it off with i mean talk about starting off with a whimper this is just a very basic decoration now this was like something chucked in the store or something you know available through like a side quest or crafting i would have zero problem with this decoration but because it's thrown in the prize track and the first prize at that it, it just feels so crappy so it doesn't do anything you tap on it nothing happens there's nothing unique with it and of course it's added to the store not for cash but for donuts and i might even have been a little bit forgiving if it was added to the store for cash but it's added for two donuts it's just not worth it it's such a crappy little decoration just to start off the update with then we got the sands of space interior set i'm like iffy on this one i do kind of like the design but it could just because it's kind of you know set up like a like a, a studio set so i think it's a little you know it's a bit a lot more passable but i think it's better than some of the other film sets we've got in the past that's for sure but it still is a bit of a crappy thing i'm not a massive fan of interiors generally so um i'm iffy on this one it's um, it's a meh and then the third prize <laughs> they've gone back to this old gem adding tokens to the prize track now i am totally fine with them adding tokens to the prize track however they should not be taking up spots in the prize track they should be with the final character or final building or final decoration whatever it may be you know added as a bonus extra thing and i think that is the good middle ground for tokens because i think it is cool when you know newer players or players who might not have everything in the game are able to get a token but I don't think it should hinder the experience of players who do have everything, or at least have everything that they could get from said mystery box. So, yeah, I'm not a fan of this. I never have been. Um, so I really hope that <laughs> I hope that this is a one-time deal, just because they've gone for this really obscure theme. And uh, yeah, then we've got stage four, of course, which is the only building. It's it's fine, I guess. It's not. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I just think it's fine. I do think they really should have added the whole kind of studio set as one big building, though, to be honest. I don't think just adding the one kind of stage, you know, is a bit weird. They should have just done the Cosmic Wars Ranch studio set or the Cosmic Ranch um, movie set and, and just add, like, all the, little, uh, all the little stages and all the little sort of sets that are there and all that. Um, and then finally, Black Voodoo is a character... I think he's uh, pretty good, actually. I actually really liked his character. It's annoying because he's only got a three-part prize track, which is very disappointing. It appears all the characters have a three-part prize track, which is, like I said, very disappointing. But I do think he's got two pretty decent animations, and um, yeah, he's not too bad. I, I don't, I don't hate him to be honest. So that is uh, Act One, and then Act Two is not much of better. <laughs> this one's going to be starting off with a movie camera, so a little different. And then a billboard, a token again, uh, another set, an exterior set this time, which uh, it's um, it looks meh. 
I mean, it, look, it looks okay, I guess. And then the robot walker is the final character. <sighs> not character, sorry. Final decoration. It's not even a character. See, it's just me assuming that there would be a character in the prize track. Silly me. Of course not. No, this entire act, next act, is pure decorations. And only one of them, well, two of them I think are okay. And then act four... Three is going to have more decorations and a character, and Act 4 is going to just have a building and three decorations. So, yeah, really kind of crappy in terms of content. I think you can always have one act which doesn't have a character or costume, but having two acts and also having no buildings in, you know, most of the acts as well, I think that's a step too far. So... I am not particularly happy with this one, if you couldn't tell, in terms of the structure. Now let's talk about the theme. Uh, because that is always interesting. So theme wise, it's a bit of a mash mashup to be honest. So of course the quest line is kind of following this Polystar, you know, the Polystar uh, executive dude. Such a weird character who kind of leads the event. It's so odd to have this dude. Because I remember Bo, I think it's Bo who said like, well, they have to add this guy because he's involved in the quest line. And yeah, that's true. If he's involved in the quest line, you have to add him. But the thing is, he didn't have to be involved in the quest line. They could have made those two marble executives who were meant to be like a parody of the Russo brothers. They could have been, I guess, a little bit of a better choice. I understand that they've tied it into that one crusty episode as well, so that's part of the reason too. Uh, yeah, it, it's a mess. So it's it's kind of like trying to do that one episode. It's also trying to do the the Vindicators uh, stuff from the Bart the Bad Guy uh, episode. And as well, it's taking stuff from the Cosmic War appearances. So it's trying to take like three, you know, completely very separate, um, you know, episodes slash sequences in episodes and with only like one arcing theme and that's they're all films and then they're trying to like mash them together and it, it's such a mess i think honestly cosmic war stuff there was enough there for a cosmic war event i have one in the works that i do want to show you guys even though most of it's been out well a lot of the stuff's been added uh yeah i and it's just disappointing that like the cosmic war ranch we're not going to get with randall curtis who uh, of course is like the george lucas parody it really does feel like they're like okay we've not got enough marvel parody stuff what can we do what's the next best thing oh star wars uh, and it really does feel like that and i think there could have been a way to do this and that's just do superhero stuff like there's so many i remember i did a superhero part three event of maybe last year i think it was and there is, like, buildings they can add. There's, like, a burning reactor core that is seen that's never been added. That could be added as a building. You've got the building that the Everyman film is filmed on, that big rooftop, you know, you could call it the rooftop battle building. That could be a pretty cool building to add. Uh, you know, there, there are, like, buildings that could have been added from various different events. I do like the fact that they've added studios. That's cool, too, because, yeah, you, there's plenty of studios and stuff you can add. But, um, yeah, it's just... It's really weak, the the theme, I feel. Like, superheroes make sense, but this is a travesty. If this is what the superhero events are, are, are going to be coming, and then, then this, is a, this is a travesty, that's for sure. Characters. So, I think the one silver lining of this update is probably the characters. Now, granted, to me, they are all blink and you miss it, but so far, I have been pretty impressed by both Black Voodoo and... Uh, Quetzalika, Quetzalaki, Lika, Quetzalika, whatever her name is, that one. Those two I've been pretty damn impressed with. I think those two have actually been uh, very cool. Now, I am excited to get Chinos, like most people. We'll see how cool he is, but, uh, you know, I've got my I've got my hopes up a little bit, let's be honest. I'll be honest. Moby Man looks cool, you know, they all look awesome, these characters, apart from the Polystar, uh, Polystar, Polystar executive, that guy looks... Uh, that guy looks generic, but um, everyone else looks very cool. You know, they all look awesome. But I do kind of have this lingering feeling that a lot of people are going to see this event positively just because, you know, Marvel, Craze, and all that, and then these characters all, like, looks-wise, aesthetic-wise, they're awesome. They look cool. And that's true. I can admit to that. They do look cool. Now, but there again, like I said, I have been impressed with Black Voodoo. I think he was pretty good. Uh, Quetzalika, Quetzalika, whatever her name is, she was pretty good as well, despite being super premium. Um, the only character so far, which I think was pro probably one of, one of the worst characters in the game, is the Polished Horror Executive. I wouldn't say he's probably, he probably doesn't make quite make the top 10 for worst characters, but, you know, he's in like the top 30 at least. He was, uh, that was a diabolical character. Terrible animations, terrible, um, 
terrible quest line. Uh, building was really nice though, so uh, that's a that's a shame. But um, yeah, not a not a big fan of that one for sure. I'll tell you that. <laughs> but um, yeah, um, I got my hopes up for the characters lead moving forward. Let's hope they are pretty cool. I'm gonna check out Airshot soon, so we'll see. Oh, on that note, Airshot really should have been the character to lead this event. I uh, said this in my spoiler video, but to me it just makes more sense to kind of focus on like either like a break in the universe or something you know make the quest line like the vindicators have come to springfield for i don't know like chinos is around or whatever and they've all come to uh they've all come to help or whatever you know like he it might be that might be so stupid and simple but i think that would somewhat be better better than what we've got but an air shot really should have been the focus you know the the leader of this event just because of how big he plays a role in the whole vindicators the fact that this is a vindicators update and you know air shot slash the actor is the character we kind of you know we get to know the most in the episode let's talk about buildings i don't have actually have a showcase i couldn't be bothered <laughs> um so <laughs> uh stage four i've already said my thoughts on that the film director's trailer, that one looks um, crappy. Um, another trailer. Polystar Pictures is a really nice building. Go check out my video if you would like to see that. Uh, the Cosmic Wall Ranch, uh, it does look a bit kind of similar to stuff we've got in the past, but it might be alright. Um, it does look quite nice, to be fair. Uh, then we've got the Ginormous Pictures. I actually really love the image of this one. I think this one looks pretty cool. And the Vindicator's base, uh, I do think, looks pretty pretty nice, to be fair. So, uh, we'll see. But there isn't very many buildings, that's for sure. So, that's, uh, that's a negative point. So, yeah. Uh, my thoughts on this update, at least so far, after playing Act 1, is it's pretty bad. Pretty bad. Pretty bad, indeed. Uh, yeah, it's, it's difficult, really, to say much more. I, I just think um, the characters... Are okay, I suppose, but um, they're nothing that I, you know, they're not like iconic characters or anything. They are just very basic parody characters. So I, I, I'm trying to give as little credit for them as possible. But even I am falling into the the Marvel hype trap, you know, where I'm like, oh yeah, that Marvel character's cool. Uh, we'll have to see. Maybe Chinos and all the others are going to be awesome. They probably will ha be pretty cool characters. They've been, you know, pretty strong on the characters so far. But I will say. They do have very short quest lines, which is disappointing. Building-wise, I think um, one of them... I mean, two of them look really cool, I guess. Actually, no, three of them. Poly, Polystar, Polystar uh, Pictures looks really cool. Uh, Ginormous Pictures looks really cool. And the Vindicator's base looks really cool. The other two, don't care for, really. Although, Cosmic War Ranch, I don't know. Something about it. It looks a bit generic. Uh, Decoration-wise, it's just... Pfft, it's just absolute turds. Absolute turds, all the way. Uh, not excited for this one whatsoever. But anyway, um, it's going to be a slog to get through this one, but we'll get through it. And uh, obviously stay tuned for the premium gameplays and, of course, my content list at the end of the update when it finishes. Uh, I think it's definitely the worst update of the year. Uh, would I say it's the worst out of the last two years? Possibly. I'd have to really go back and see. Um, would I say it's the worst event, like one of the worst events ever? Probably not. Probably doesn't make my top 10. It might make my top 20, though, for worst events of all time. It's possible. I think this one is actually worse. Oh, do I say that? Oh, no. Is it worse than Gamer Games the sequel? Oh, that's a tricky one. That is a tricky one indeed. I have to. I'll have to come back. That could be an interesting uh, battle of the best events episode. There, Showbiz Showdown versus Gamer Games the sequel. Ooh. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Tell me your thoughts on this update, and I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye.